Chronic pain is pain that has been going on for at least longer than three months, but it's usually six months or longer. Um, and I kind of like to tell, you know, people before we're saying like, you have chronic pain, like, you know, you have been, you know, examined by a medical doctor, kind of ruled out anything that they could find um, specifically physically going on. Um, or it's like, maybe they found what was going on and then you're still hurting like six months after. Um, and basically, you know, I think to understand too, like how like yoga can help with chronic pain is you kind of have to understand the pain signal. So anytime you're having pain, it's coming from your brain. So basically the brain is sending a signal and saying something is wrong. So we need to like alert the body. There's a threat. And what happens in chronic pain is maybe there was an actual threat at some point. But what happens is the brain gets so good at sending the signal. So it's constantly, you know, still sending the signal that say, what if it's your ankle, maybe you no longer have a threat going on in your ankle, but it's sending the signal that, you know, there's pain there, it hurts. And it gets really good at this. So if we only work on the physical body and don't address like mindset and the mental aspects associated with pain, then it's kind of hard to, you know, start to heal from chronic pain because we do need to kind of break up that pain signal so that the brain isn't constantly sending that signal down saying, you know, you're in pain, even though there's not a threat going on at this time. So that's kind of the breakdown, like how I like to explain what chronic pain is. Um, it's obviously more detailed than that, but that's like the general overview. <laughs> I think there's like two parts of it. I think a lot of times when you have chronic pain, you become kind of fearful of movement and it's totally understandable. So like you're kind of scared to move because you're scared it's either going to hurt or it's going to flare you up later. But what happens is if we don't move, then we're kind of making things worse in the long run because, you know, your joints are going to get stiff, your muscles are going to get tight and it could kind of cause problem either worsen the problem or make, you know, a problem somewhere else. So it's really important to move. And I think yoga is really good because it's more like mindful movement. Um, so it's a nice way to like initiate movement into the body. And the way I kind of like to look at it, um, I do like a lot of private sessions with people and it's like, is if, if we're trying to like go into a pose and it is causing pain or some type of pain, like, is it, a, is it actually a physical limitation or is it your mind telling you? So it's kind of like, and it, it takes, you know, it takes time to kind of decode that and figure it out. And we never want to be like doing something that's totally flaring pain. That's not what I'm saying, but kind of figuring out what's a physical limitation and what is like a mental kind of block and limitation that you're experiencing. There's so much to yoga too. Like sometimes I think we, a lot of people in, you know, more of our Western culture, we're always thinking of yoga as like, doing asana and like going into postures, but meditation, breath work, like that's all part of yoga. And that can be really helpful in healing. Um, so if you do want to go the, you know, the route of going into postures, there's so many ways to modify. And, you know, I think that I wouldn't like recommend someone just like goes to a vinyasa or like power yoga class and like, you know, for the first time they're trying yoga and they have pain because it is probably going to be moving through those postures a little bit faster. Um, which might not be ideal, but, you know, restorative yoga is a really good place to start because there's a lot of props. So that's a nice way to just like find where your body can move. But I do think moving into more of like a vinyasa, like a slower paced vinyasa class um, is important because that's going to give you more of that active movement and you'll get the more like the strengthening aspect, which is important. Like we still, even if you have chronic pain, you know, maybe we do want to do more of the stretchy stuff at first, but strengthening is going to be an important part of the healing process. So it's kind of finding what works for you. And like, if you do go to a class, always knowing like, you don't have to do everything the teacher says, like if something's like too much for you, just sit in easy pose and relax and take a moment. So yeah, it's kind of like finding that balance. Yeah.